Hey guys, so today I'm doing a mask Monday and it's basically a chit chat deep condition with me and I am going to be using the Shea Moisture Makuna Honey and Mafra Oil Intensive Hydration Treatment Mask. I got this at Target in like the mask section, like the hair section for like two bucks. So we're just going to talk about a few topics I have written down and yeah, I'm just going to open this mask smells awesome and get this show on the road so first let's talk about my hair since we are on that uh, my hair needs a trim so I'm probably gonna trim it tomorrow um, today I'm gonna wash my hair and then put it in some twists I got hair scissors to trim it I um, actually came in the mail I have no idea what I did with them to my hair scissors I don't know whatever I got shears in the mail today and I don't know where I put them but I'm gonna trim my hair tomorrow because my ends need it and you know I'm just gonna trim a lot off probably I'm not even gonna lie um, just to have like a healthy start to the school year I only have class like two days a week, so I probably am going to want to do protective styles um, a good amount of the semester. So I think just a good trim will be a great way to start that off. So that's all I have to say about my hair, but let's talk about YouTube for a second because I've been like for the past year, I've been kind of figuring out what my space here is on YouTube because at the end of the day I feel like both my audience and the way YouTube works as far as YouTube promoting videos that your audience likes has put me in a box of people only wanting to see my hair videos and hair videos are great but I feel like I want to share so much more with you guys, like my college experiences. I've been really getting into skincare lately. Um, I had started my vlog channel for my travel videos and I just feel like I don't know what to do right now. For example, I posted a video about decorating my dorm um, and like affordable dorm decor and I uploaded it and it got like 200 views after a day. And that's kind of ridiculous, to be honest, just because um, I have over 100,000 subscribers. So I don't think, I honestly, like, if you guys just are like, don't post about college, like, tell me in the comments. Like, I really want an honest conversation in the comments about my channel. Because at the end of the day, if you guys are just like, I subscribe to you for hair and I'm not going to watch anything else but hair videos then maybe I need to make a new channel where I can post more lifestyle videos, more like fashion, more like skincare, like all the other stuff that I'm interested in making content about. And so like my views don't suffer and then my subscribers, subscribers aren't getting things that they didn't originally come here for. So that's like my predicament right now. Um, I... I guess I spent the last year kind of experimenting with new content and I'm still kind of in denial that you guys aren't interested in like content besides hair like I feel like black women are way more din dynamic than just like our hair but maybe that's just what my audience only watches on YouTube so and I also like to think about the content I like to watch I recently been getting into vlogs a lot um like Jayla Corian and um, Raven, Raven, Elise, um, I love them and they are vloggers. So it's like maybe I should do more vlogs. So hopefully my vlog channel gets a lot more videos. But I feel like I want to experiment. I don't want to be like reprimanded in a way for it because like 200 views, that's ridiculous. And like I would be lying if I said like, oh, I don't care about views because like, Videos take a long time to make and after you've been on YouTube 
for like nine years, you you want to get more than 200 views. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I'm not only going to make hair videos. And the only way that would even work out is if I literally just made this channel a hair channel and posted on it whenever I felt like making a hair video. And then kind of just um, started fresh on a new like lifestyle channel. And I did an Instagram poll on this. And some people were saying like how non, like black women really are, some people said in their messages to me that they believe YouTube is giving creators of color the short end of the stick because um, creators of color will make a video and then more popular or white creators will make the same video and their videos will get a ton of views. And you know, that's cool or whatever. No, it's not cool, but like, that, that might be what it is, but at the end of the day, I just care about my audience seeing what they, like, if you subscribe to me and you want to see my videos, then, like, I want to make sure that you're seeing the videos. I don't want, like, any type of algorithm or anything to prevent you from seeing my videos. And I'm saying this because on Instagram, a lot of people were saying, oh, your videos haven't surfaced to me in a long time, like, I, you don't even show up on my home screen anymore. So I'm like, that that's a problem. <laughs> like, that is a problem if I'm not showing up and you want me to. Like, it's a different thing if you're just like, oh, I came here for hair and you haven't been posting hair videos for a while. Um, yeah, like, that, that could well be the case. That you only came here for hair videos and because I haven't been posting a lot of hair videos, you're just like, yeah, I'm not watching them. But to think that all 100,000 of my subscribers only care about hair videos, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm not fully convinced. Um, even though I know one of my videos has driven most of my subscribers to my channel, I'm not going to lie. And it was a hair video. So maybe I'm just in denial. Maybe I'm just playing around. But that's where I am with that. So let me know in the comments if you're like, girl, like make a new lifestyle channel and just keep this hair only um that could be an option and then I really could just start fresh my hair videos are the only things that really get views on this channel anyway so it's not like I would be missing out on any like you know like monetization like all that stuff like if people really aren't interested in lifestyle anymore then I will find that out but that might be what happens um so just let me know what you think but you guys have let me know what you think by the videos that you watch. So make your make your argument convincing if you're against me starting like a new lifestyle channel where I do like fashion videos, where I do like skincare. Um, what else am I interested in? College videos. Um, yeah. And then on my vlog channel, I think I'm going to do like week in the life throughout my semester um, just because those are vlogs and I haven't been posting anything to my vlog channel and you know I may do this for <laughs> I don't know how long I would do it but I think it's good to experiment at the end of the day like I want to make the videos and I want my audience to care about the videos that I'm making so this channel I'm almost like convincing myself um, I gave myself this year, 2019, to really experiment and see if you guys would react to it, and the answer is no. So, that's the answer. And so I probably should just make another lifestyle channel <laughs> and do what I really think I'm. my interests are switching to. And then if I do hair videos, like keep them on here. Because that's what most of you guys came here for, like, at the end of the day. Like, that's what most of you guys subscribe to this for. Alright, so that's enough about my YouTube slash content rant. Um, I also post a lot of my hair content on my Facebook page. So, yeah. And my Facebook page gets a lot of views and engagement, and I'm happy about that. Um, but once again, because most of my Facebook audience is there for hair... Um, my lifestyle content probably won't perform well over there. So I think it's just like a TV channel, like, some, 
you have to start a new TV channel for different audiences. Like, that's why there's not one TV channel that just plays everything. Like, you have to know your audience. And I think that just comes down to, like, basic marketing, basic anything. Like, is it for your audience? And obviously, the non-hair stuff isn't for you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's my conclusion. How fast this is going to happen, I don't know. I have a lot of content planned out. Um, and I guess at the end of the day, it's just going to be where where it comes out. Um, so I think I may... I do like these Mask Mondays because I don't have to do a whole tutorial. Um, it's just talking to you guys. And I think... Um, well, we'll see. We'll see how this um, this video does. So yeah, I'm just going to use the whole mask because i'm not gonna like use a half a mask one day anyways so yeah so the next topic is school so i am a senior in college right now like it's crazy i know i am a senior in college and i graduate on may 15th 2020 and how do I feel about it? I feel very excited. I'm not the senior who's like, oh my god, I'm so sad, like I don't want to graduate. I'm the senior who's like, yes, like I'm ready to be done with classes, like that is how I feel. Um, and I'm ready to be done with classes and I'm ready to be done turning in assignments that aren't, um, that are busy work um, or things that I've learned like, I feel like the class, like, I learn more from outside the classroom right now. And based on my major, based on my career goals and all that stuff, I'm a public relations major. So because of the fact that I'm a content creator and then I've interned, a lot of the concepts um, are, like, secondhand to me. Like, branding and stuff like that. Like, I have a good grasp on the content. Those topics are, like, building a website. Like, stuff like that. Those are valuable things we're learning in class, but because I've had so much practice with those things, um, that is why I'm ready to be done with school. Period. Just I'm just like ready. After the summer, I'm ready. I got a taste of what my future career could look like, and I'm ready to get into that. And speaking of my last summer, um, I interned at Google, and at the end of my internship, I did interview for a full-time job. So as of now, I don't have any word back. It takes a while, but as soon as I know, and I know where, like all the details on that, I'll let you know. But my internship experience was awesome. Um, let me get like a, <laughs> like a plastic bag or something. We're gonna do plastic bag by Tarjay's. Cause I don't, think I have um, a shark cap but yeah my internship was awesome like I really enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed it okay that's that's the bag we're doing okay I thoroughly enjoyed it and it gave me a taste of what it's like what it's like to be done with school and I really enjoyed it so that is why I am I think I've gotten everything out of college that I need I think I took advantage of everything um which I'm proud to say so if you want um advice on getting internships how I got an internship at google resume tips I have videos on all that so go search them up because I did a whole series on that stuff and oh yeah also my schedule is really really light so I have a good amount of free time to like work on my content and all that which I'm excited about um I also um have a bunch of new projects coming out so one thing is my new podcast that I'm hosting with my best friend Janelle it's called Melanin and Miles 
and it's a travel podcast for black women and we talk about being black and abroad we talk about affordable travel tips and we talk about funny stories crazy stories from when we were traveling so the podcast launches on september 10th our first episode our pilot episode is available to listen to so go listen to it i'll have it linked down below and if you leave a podcast review we're giving away free um pins let me find one to show you an example like this is the one I have on my bag, but it just says Melanin and Miles. Can we get a focus? Just says Melanin and Miles. This is the one I have on my bag. I have one on my jacket and there's a few on my room. But if you leave a podcast review, we will mail you one of those pins as a thank you since we are just launching our podcast. So I think this is like, you know, I'm just super excited about this because it's a new topic that I don't really talk about on my channel, but I have a lot of experience traveling. I travel all the time, so I think it's going to be an awesome podcast. I'm just like, I'm so pumped about this new project. It's so refreshing to like work on a new medium like audio and also just a new topic that I don't always talk about on this channel. So I'm super excited about that. We have our whole first season um, recorded, so like it's not like we're jumping into this and like we're gonna leave you hanging like week three like you know how some projects would be starting like that no we have we have content and we will do our best to keep you entertained but yeah all year we're gonna be posting new episodes every tuesday so that's one project my second project is i want to start writing a new book um, I came out with my first book in 2016 and it's called You Got Into Wear, How I Received Admission and Scholarships to the Nation's Top Universities and it's a college admissions guide. So if you're in high school, go check that book out um, at yougotintowear.com but I'm ready to start writing my second book and I'm actually fiddling around on topics. Um, my first, and if you have any feedback on this, I'd love to hear it. My first idea is like a college survival book slash memoir um, because I'm about to graduate. And then my second idea is a personal branding guide. Um, so I'm like leaking my next two book ideas. It's just which is coming first. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the college survival guide just because it's relevant. And I'm graduating soon. I actually started writing it almost a year ago but I took a break so I'm ready to get back into writing it and um you know there's no launch date yet but I just wanted to put that in the air and I don't know if I'm going to self-publish or have a publisher um I don't know but maybe if some of you guys are well connected you can point me in that direction it's so hot in here it's getting really hot um I think we're Yeah, so that's like upcoming projects. Um, I have, yeah, that's that's like projects right now. I'm, and then obviously content. So we'll figure out if I'm gonna start a new lifestyle channel and like start from scratch, and then like keep this a hair channel. I think that's what YouTube's been trying to tell me from the start, but um, I haven't been listening. <laughs> okay, so next, um, I have two more topics. That I'm going to briefly run through. One is post-grad. So I talked about my internship getting a taste of like being a graduate. So like for post-grad, like I definitely like I want to live in New York. Like that's what I've been trying to manifest and pray for to be in New York post-grad. And just because I've interned there the past three summers and I just love the city. I love living there. Um, I feel like I meet so many awesome people when I'm out there, so that's where I want to be. But obviously with anything, like, you know, you might have to take a path to get where you want to be. So that's where I want to be so bad, like, with all my heart and passion. And based upon that, or where I might end up being, like, might end up being in California based on how, like, job things work out, but my moved for postgrad is one i'm excited two i'm like actually preparing like i'm saving up money now i've been saving since um the beginning of 2018 i started saving like a certain amount a month which i recommend doing if you have income um and so i'm just super excited like <laughs> i decorated my room trying to just because it's my first time living off campus so i like decorating my apartment really nice just to kind of get a feel of like you know what it's like so i'm just super excited um about that 
and I hope all goes well and I definitely you know I have the entrepreneur bug so um that will come probably a couple years after post-grad I'm gonna be real um but you know anything can happen I'm definitely not opposed I probably am more you know open to having a full-time job and being an entrepreneur on the side like that's the path that I think I'm on right now um lastly i wanted to touch upon like my relationship i'm still in a relationship i'm in a long distance relationship and um brain and i have been together for like over two years so i think that this has just taught me so much about you know getting to know myself because we spend a lot of time apart from each other and getting to know like Get to know another person. I don't know, but we've been traveling. Uh, we went to Hawaii for my birthday. So a Hawaii vlog is coming up on our couples channel, which is Cherry and Curls. I'll have that linked, obviously. And, you know, we're just figuring out everything. Like, it's crazy. I feel like a lot of things, we're in a big transitional phase. Like, I'm about to graduate. Like, I'm a senior. Like, ah, I might get a job. So all of that is just things that are floating in the air. But... I want to just touch upon everything that's happening right now, where my thoughts are. Just a huge life update. So let me know if you guys like these videos because I'm about to make this whole thing a mask Monday so I can stay on track with deep conditioning and just update you guys on everything that's going on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully it gets more than 200 views and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.